So, Cikgu Brian, you can see the screen, right? Okay, thank you very much. Because I need to counter check, otherwise, if the students can't see and I keep on talking. Okay, uh, thank you for joining this lot. I'm teacher Nirmala from SK St. Patrick. Okay, students, today I'm going to share with you tips to help you for English language comprehension. Uh, Bahasa Inggris Pemahaman 013. Even though there is no UPSR examination as informed by the Minister of Education, but we are still waiting for the upcoming new evaluation. So we are not very sure what kind of evaluation will be in order to evaluate uh, and give marks or grades for students of uh, whoever going to sit for UPSR this year. However, it's our duty to inform you, to guide you on the necessary elements that is in UPSR format, which is also in the syllabus. So this is part of completing your uh, syllabus skills, uh, skills in the syllabus as well. Okay, um, the tips for uh, section, uh, sorry, this is section B, uh, section B of your, uh, not section A, section B of your comprehension paper. Actually, the first one is uh, you need to know six marks are given. What you expected to do is that read the whole thing. Okay, first of all, read and underline the instructions. As I'll, I always inform the students, please use a ruler to read in be between the lines because your eyes will be focused on what you are reading. Okay, then once you have done reading of the instructions, what you need to do is that look at the pictures or the people in the uh, question. All right, and also the dialogues. Okay, look and read the dialogues. But uh, before that, please determine who is speaker one and speaker two. How to do it, I'll teach you shortly. And then make sure your answers are very short. Why I'm asking you to write short answers is because if you are writing long sentences, you are tend to make, you will be, a, you tend to make mistakes in your grammar, punctuation, spelling, or even structure. So that's the reason why I always encourage my students to write short answers. Short answers will uh, surely will enable you to get full marks because once the answer is short, you are able to handle the grammar, the punctuation, spelling, and structure. All right? So always remember grammar, punctuation, spelling, structure is very important. Okay. Okay. Tips for section B, six marks. All right. I always inform my students if can try to uh, read and memorize some of these phrases which they can use for question uh, 21 A, B, and C. Okay, sometimes when you read the dialogues, right, uh, of the questions or one dialogue of a question, you find that these phrases is still applicable. You can still use these phrases, right? Okay, for example, sometimes when you read the dialogue, the answer simply requiring you to say, sure, sir. Yes, teacher. No, I Ayman. Example, okay? Can I have any student to read the phrases for me? Is there any student in the group, in teams? I can see quite a number of students. Can I get any students uh, on your microphone? Any students there? No? It's okay. Then you can also say, thank you, mom. Sure, Atika. Ken, Amin. Congrats, Rita or the full form, uh, full form of congrats. Congratulations, Rita. All right, Madam Tan. Okay, Nina. May I go out, please? What is your name? Example, these are common phrases um, that 
or sentences that you may use in your write-up. Right? Uh, for example, the word sir, teacher, Aiman, mom, Atika, Amin, Rita, Rina, Madam Tan, Nina may change. All right? May change according to the character. If you see a boy, you can name the boy Aman. If you see a girl, you can name the girl Rita. If you see a teacher, you can say sir. If you see a, a lady teacher, Madam Aman, uh, Amina, example. All right? So uh, if you think the person it looks like uh, a lady, maybe mom, you can mention the word mother, mom, father, dad. All right? So this is flexible. Okay, now let's look at this question. Okay, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, you need to know this is question 21, right? Question 21, you need to answer um, the question based on the picture and also the dialogue. Okay, question 21 here. Okay, first of all, your technique, the technique is underline, read and, and underline. Okay, read and underline the instructions in Bahasa Malaysia and also in English language. If you're confused with Bahasa Malaysia version, English language version of instruction is always applicable to be used, right? Write a suitable response for each picture in the space provided, okay? A suitable response for each picture in the space provided, right? Tulis jawapan yang sesuai bagi setiap gambar di ruang yang disediakan. Okay. After you have done reading, you see here two marks, right? How to score two marks? Okay. Um, then, uh, knowing after reading the instruction, look at the people here. Look at the situation here. Okay, where is this place? And then... Before that, also, you need to look at the dialogues. So you need to know who is the first speaker, who is the second speaker. The first dialogue that is higher will be your first speaker. The lower will be your second speaker. Then it will help you to determine whether to ask a question or to answer a question. Right? So in this case, it looks like a restaurant, right? It look, look like a restaurant, okay? Because this lady, she's a waitress, okay? She's a customer, okay? So the customer is ordering something, the waitress is taking an order, All right? So knowing that in your mind, let's read the dialogue, okay? The customer is saying, I would like to have a plate of fried rice, please. So... Here, obviously, put here, obviously, the, dial, the, the correct statement or correct answer here is asking a question. Answer. Think what first. Would yeah. you like to have, man? What? You like what to have. would you? What would you? You like to have, okay? Like to have, madam. Madam, yes. madam. Okay, yes. I can't hear you. Okay. What would you like to have, madam? Okay. So, um, providing Jamia has written W, capital W, comma, correct, question mark, correctly written. And all the spelling is correct. The structure, correct, means the grammar is correct. What would you like to have, madam? So if Damia were to write like this, I will give her two marks. Because the punctuation is correct, the comma, the uh, question mark, uh, starting a sentence with capital letter is correct. So I will give her two marks. But let's say if Damia... Right. Let's see if Damia she has written something like this. Yeah. 
she has written uh, small w and then the m of course we retain as the uh, capital m small w and she forget to put the comma here so there's a mistake here and also here so for that mistake she is given only one mark all right so if there's any punctuation mistakes capitalization mistake means small letter becomes uh, capital letter capital letter becomes small letters one mark will be deducted okay uh, so that is how you will score one mark and, and two marks right so now i give about one minute so students out there those who are watching even in youtube you can copy this first okay you can copy this what would you like to have comma madam and the response is, I would like to have a plate of uh, fried rice, please. Okay, please copy. I give you one minute. Madam, yes. I ask a question. Uh, what is it? Um, if the conservation is about uh, a son and a father, the son is asking her father, then her father wants to ask his son. Then we want to put comma, right? And then the name of son, capital letter or small letter, madam? The name of son is a uh, capital letter. You know why? Proper noun. For example, Damia. Damia starts with D, right? So it is proper noun. So we must write in capital letter. Let's say uh, we want to write teacher Norhana. T capital letter, Norhana capital letter. But if you're mentioning the word teacher in general, prop common noun is small letter. So anything comes with uh, <clears throat> common noun, you may choose to write small letters, but if it's proper noun, kata nama has, you need to write using capital letters. Okay, madam, thank you. Welcome. Please take note of that. Okay. I'm giving a few more seconds for you to write. Okay, students, let's look at the second picture. <clears throat> Again, I, I assume you have done the reading for the instructions earlier. This is a continuation. Question B. All right, look at the place. Okay, look at these people. Look at the shoes on display. Look at the dialogue. Excuse me, this is too tight for my daughter. Look at the order of the dialogue, which is higher, which is lower. All right. Can I get a student to tell me who is the first speaker, who is the second speaker? And give the answers after determining the first and second speaker. Hudson is here. Frida, Shazwi. To get the other size for your daughter. Okay. Excuse me. This is too tight for my daughter. So what was your response just now, Damia? If you don't mind, can you read? For your daughter. I will get another size. size. For your daughter. Okay, sorry, wait. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, madam. I will get another size for your daughter. Okay, this one I will give two marks, provided Damia has written the comma correctly, the full stop correctly, after full stop, capital letter correctly, another full stop correctly, all capital O correctly. So all these are taken into consideration to give you two marks. Okay, madam, I will get another size for your daughter. All right, this is perfectly correct. But if let's say the student has mistake, okay, madam, no full stop here and forget to put full stop here and forget to put a comma here, one mark only will be awarded. And again, okay, madam, okay, and again, the structure is correct, but punctuation is wrong. All right, so always be careful with your punctuation. Okay, so I'll give you one minute for students to copy. And also the tips, please take note of the tips. Okay. All right. So I assume the students have copied. Okay, let's let's look at the next question. Okay, I think something like Damia asked me just now. Father is saying something, son is saying something. This is situation in the house. Okay, situation in the house. Who is the first speaker? Who is the second speaker? So I really hope I give you one minute to think, boys and girls. After this, one person on the microphone and tell me who is the first speaker, second speaker, and what is the answer most, look, most probably look like. Oh, yeah. Look at the boy. All right, please be home by 6 p.m. Look at the, read the dialogue. <coughs> Okay, can I get a student to respond to this question? Andi Afiza is here also. Andi Afiza, can you try to answer? Um, who, who is the first speaker? Which dialogue? Uh, his son. Okay, very good, my dear. Son, second speaker? Of course, the father, right? Once you determine uh, the first uh, one, of um, course, the father, second one, right? Yeah. So, can you uh, yeah, yeah. give me response of the first speaker? Mm, um, that I will, I will talk with my friend.
Fitri Nusafarina. Is Fitri there? No. Damia, can you hear me? Yes, madam. Ah, Damia, can you give another response for this question? Just yeah, your friend has given that, I will go out with my friends. So, all right, please be home by 6 p.m. Do you think another response you can give me? Sure, madam. Ah, one, one more. Dad, I want to go to my class now. Dad, okay, I want. Sorry, wait, ah, I use another color pen. Dad, I want. To go, Wait, what is it? The next one, what is it, Damia? To my, eh, Dad, I want to go to my class now. Dad, I want to go to my class now. Dad, I want to go to my class now. Dad, I want to go to class now. So you don't have to have the my here. Dad, I want to go to class now. Okay, so not necessarily you need to have the word my. So here is one mark, here two marks. Uh, or another response that you can give is in the form of question. So you may say, the, the boy may say that, uh, okay, or he can say, can I go out to see my friends? Uh -huh. My friend's dad he can also ask a question. Can I go out to see my friend's dad? All right, please be home by 6 p.m. Not only in the form of statement like what Damia and Afiza has given, but this boy can also say the response in the form of asking a question, asking permission from his father. Okay. Dad, okay, can I go out to see my friend's dad? Also accepted. Dad, I will go out with my friends. Also accepted. Dad, I want to go to class now. Also accepted. All right? So, in the form of statement or in the form of question, also accepted for this question. Okay? Uh, so, please copy the answers. Huh? <coughs> Please copy the answers. I wait for a while. <coughs> Okay, I assume that you have done, done the uh, um, writing of these answers. Okay, look at this question. Question 21, all right. Write the suitable response for each picture in the space provided. to Tulis jawapan yang sesuai bagi setiap gambar di ruangan yang berikut. Okay, again, look at the first picture, look at the dialogue, determine who is the first speaker, second speaker, look at the second picture, look at the dialogue, okay, determine who is the first speaker and second speaker, 
Same goes to third picture. Look at the top. Determine who is the first speaker and second speaker. And most importantly also, look at the facial reaction of these people. What are they doing? Okay. Look at the facial reaction of this teacher, the hand movement. Look at the boy. Most importantly, the hand, um, the way the, the, the gesture, the way the boy shows his hands. Okay. And what is it here? And then look at the girl who is reading attentively in the library and look at this girl who is looking, um, I mean, looking at her friend reading a book. Okay. <clears throat> and then look at this lady. What is she doing? Okay. So I will give you about. I like. <clears throat> okay, I think it's time's up. Can I get the students to answer the question, please? One question first. I think so. I think so. I think Okay. I like to hot. Madam, <laughs> yeah. I answer now, madam. You want to answer? Who is that, Damia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think your mind is a bit of problem, Damia. <laughs> okay, can you answer slowly? Oh, yeah. The rest of you, please mute your microphone. The rest of you who is not talking, please mute the microphone, please. Can anyone answer? Just now I heard Damia's voice. Yes. Now there are a few students. Okay, can anyone uh, on your microphone and answer for the first one? Hudson, are you there? Yes, madam. Yes, please answer. Hudson, the first one, uh, which speaker is the first speaker? Who is the first speaker for picture A? Yeah. I like to a hot. I like to. Can I get the student to answer the rest of the microphone, please? I like hot. Okay, can 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 you answer the rest of the microphone first? Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. 
last number. Place of microphone. Uh, Damia, can you please answer now? Because I can't hear Hudson's voice. Nope. Okay, who is the first speaker? The mother. The mother, okay. Obviously, the second, the daughter is the second speaker. Okay, would you like your tea hot or cold? So the question is whether the daughter wants her tea hot or cold. So the clue is already there. Talks about the tea. Okay. Yes. Can you please give me a response? I like to yeah. a cold tea. I like. Yeah. I would like. Is it? I. I like tea. I would like tea. I would like. What is your answer? I only hear a baby's voice. Okay. Uh, Damia, can you say again? Because I heard a baby's voice, so I I couldn't really hear. I would like. To have I would like my, yeah, I would like to have. I would like to have. Oh, okay. Oh, I would like to have. Is it okay? Hang on a minute. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I would like to have. I would like to have. Hello. My. What? My tea. My tea. My tea. Okay. Hot. I would like to have my tea. Cool. Cool. Cool is it? Yes, madam. Is this the answer? I would like to have my tea cold. Any word that you want to add? No. To make it more pleasant? pleasant. I would like to have my tea cold. Okay? Uh -huh. This response is also accepted. Two marks provided. Is capital letter full stop is here. I would like to have my tea cold. Also, can to have it more pleasant. I would like also, you can write like this. I would like, okay, I would like my tea cold or hot, doesn't matter. Hot, please. You may use the word please because it sounds more pleasant, more polite, because you are asking something from your mom. Of course, you must say politely, please, okay? okay? Try to use the word please. We do not do not talk to people harshly. We need to practice saying things politely, okay? So the second one is more polite. I would like, I would like my tea hot, please. Or I would like to have my tea hot, please. Okay? So this will be too much. Let's say a student forget to put uh, uh, forget to put comma here, so the student will be given only one mark because punctuation error. Okay, okay. all right. Next one. Okay, who is the okay. first and second speaker? Speaker. Who is the first and second speaker? Can I get any students or oh, Damia, you want to answer? Because it seems like today the students, most of them are watching through uh, live streaming. Luckily, your line is good, yeah, Damia? So can I get your response, Damia? Look at this boy. You know, he's showing uh, that he 
he i mean showing that there's no no okay the hands look at the hands not the yes signal but no no signal okay how many did you put your back here okay and the teacher is asking did back here about this boy by the name of Hamid. So he's showing no, no. So what do you think the answer would be? And who is the first speaker actually? Atten, can you hear me? Okay. Atten. Uh, okay, Atten, who is the first speaker, my dear? The teacher. The teacher. The second speaker is the boy, obviously. Yeah. Okay, what do you think the correct response might be? What, madam? What is the response for this question? Hamid, did you put your back here? No, I didn't put my back here. No, I didn't put my back okay Hassan. after now there is a comma or no comma ada ada <laughs> no i didn't put my back here okay since Hassan said there's a comma and full stop and assume that Hassan write it correctly he will get two marks if let's say Asen write uh, no, I did not put my bag. Sir, stop. Also two marks. Okay. Be more polite, please, sir, because he's your teacher. Okay, so okay. being a teacher, okay. try to use the word madam, sir, to sound more, more polite. Okay, so provided Hudson wrote everything correctly with correct punctuation, correct structure, correct grammar, correct spelling, he will be given two marks. But let's say there's no comma here, no comma here, forget to put full stop. So only one mark will be given. All right. Okay. Answer and don't go away. Answer the third one. Because you don't know what happened to my other students. Okay. Who is the first speaker? Look at the top. The top is always the first speaker. Hello, Hudson, are you there? Ada, yes. ada, ada. Ada. <laughs> Please answer. <laughs> yang pertama tu, yang mother tu kah? Uh, I mean, her friend, her friend. Oh, I know yeah. some of the drawings looks like mother, right? But they are friends, okay? Okay, okay. good, good. The second one, obviously, of course, this one. The story yeah. you are reading must be interesting. So, what is the shortest answer that you can give me? Yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Okay. Providing Hassan for the full stop here, S, capital S. Uh, okay, Sarah, medium. Huh? Medium, okay, Sarah. Uh, okay, wait, wait, my dear. Okay, so two marks, yeah? Very short, but can get two marks. Okay, and one more from Damia. I think she said, okay, Sarah, is it Sarah or Amina? Doesn't matter. Provided. Yes. Correct. This is correct. This Betul, is correct. Guys. Two marks. Okay, but here, uh, again, I go back to question number B here just now. If any one of you wrote as, no, sir, stop. This is also two marks, you know. If I were you, I will just write like this. If I were you, I will just write in my exam like this. Okay. If I were you. Okay, because shortest, correct, punctuation correct, grammar correct, and answering the questions, two marks. 
And why you are asking for trouble by writing such a long sentence and has a lot of mistakes in it? Okay, so I will always go for short answers, which is answering the question's response. Okay, so here the story you are reading must be interesting. Yes, Sarah. Okay, Amina. Hey, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's not suitable, you know. Sorry. Okay, it's not suitable. When I read it again, okay, Sarah is not suitable. Yes, Sarah is suitable. Okay, I overlooked just now my mistake. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, it's not suitable here now for this response. Some of the responses, yes, suitable, but this one, okay, Sarah is not suitable. Can I have an Another response for this. The story you are reading must be interesting. Yes, Sarah. Or you can have like, let's see. The story you are reading must be. Uh, uh, what do you say just now, boy? I get. I take answer. What is it? Can you tell me? Yes, Sarah is correct. Yes, this story is interesting. Full stop. Yes, this story is interesting. Comma, small t. Do not write yes, comma, capital T. Wrong. Okay. Yes, this story is interesting. Just now, okay, Sarah, it's not accepted, yeah? Some other responses might be accepted, but for this one, it's not accepted, not suitable. Um, so if you want to use okay, some other occasions we try to see, all right? So now, boys and girls, please copy the sentences. I wait for a few minutes. Hello, Power of Sun. Yeah, copy, yeah, boys and girl. Copy and oh, also okay. write the tips there. Write the tips. If your phone is not clean, <coughs> without any tips and scribbling here and there, you may forget. Use colored pens. Dalam buku tulis sekolah ke, madam? Yeah, can. That would be much better. Dan, Madam. Very good. So I go on to the next slide, yeah? Okay. Maybe this will be the last slide. Please look at the pictures. Read the dialogue. Determine the speakers. I I would I would be glad to. Sure, I can send you there. There is you need to write a place, a name of a place specifically. Okay, mom, don't worry. Okay, mom, don't worry. All right, I give time for about one or two minutes. Please determine first speaker, second speaker. Read the dialogues. Look at the people, their reactions. 
what are the things available surrounding them. Try to come up with short answers. Done? Yes. Okay. Come. Let's, let's look at the first one. Who is the first speaker? Who is the second speaker? Let's go. Orang yang angkat barang tu first speaker. Orang yang jalan tu apa? Second. Okay. First speaker, second speaker. Huh? Ah. Yeah, first speaker, second speaker is correct. Okay. Give me a response. Can I give? Can I give the response, me, please, madam? Yes. Who is this? Damia. Damia. Okay. Damia, give me the response. Who is that? Please off the microphone. Okay, faster, Damia. Thank you, faster. Would you like to have this? Would you? like to help me do you remember a polite word that i told you to use a word that will make the sentence for more polite yes yeah have. what is that would you like to have me sir would you like to help me sir would you like to help me sir Okay, this is more polite, right? I would be glad to. Okay, so here the student will get two marks. Again, provided, comma, question mark. Okay, this is more polite. Okay, any other response, any other response or responses for this question? Okay, anybody would like to give another response? No? Anybody else want to give a response? Me, me, madam. Ah, Ken, tell me, who is the me, me, me? Who is that? Okay, girl, please. Hello, girl, please give me your response. Can I have the response? Me, madam. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Can you help me carry these boxes? Can you help? Sorry. Yeah. My, wait, wait, my handwriting. Okay, wait, yeah, hang on a minute there. Can yeah, you box? help me to carry, carry T-H-I-S or T-H-E-S-E? 
E H E S E. Excellent. Can you help me to carry these boxes? Did you say something after that? Okay, can you help me <coughs> to carry these boxes also correct? Okay, or here the students write comma, please. Can you help me to carry these boxes, please? Also more polite. So either one is accepted with two marks. Again, make sure your comma, your question mark, your capital letter is correct. And again, this. Remember, THIS is only for one box. Two and more, you use this. That's the reason why I asked the girl just now whether she's saying this or this. If let's say you have accidentally written as this, then you are given only one mark. Okay, by your teachers. All right, let's move on to the second one. Who is the first speaker? Who is the second speaker? Okay. Okay, can I have a response, please? Yes. Can you answer, girl? Who is the first speaker? Who is the second speaker? Yes. The first one. Who is the first speaker, my dear? Yang the driver, madam. The driver, yang the first cup. Yang bercakap. This one? Penumpang. Oh, oh, the customer is the first speaker, correct? The customer. The second speaker is the driver, all right? Okay, yeah. give me a response. Sure, I can send you there, there, there. Look at the word there. So what is the response? Can you send me to this location? Me to Taman. Can you send me to where? To this location. To this location. Okay, I just write down first, yeah? Can you send me to this location? And next answer, uh, uh, Hudson, you were saying something. What is that, boy? Can I give the answer, madam? Yes, can. Who is that? Damia? Uh, okay, what is it, my dear? Tell me the answer. Can you send me to Taman Limau, sir? Can you send me to Taman Limau, sir? Taman Limau, sir. Okay. Can you send me to this location? Okay. Can you send me to this location? Okay. Can you send me to this location? Sure, I can send you. Okay, location is general. Okay, accepted, two marks, but provided, capital, uh, question mark, can. It's capital letter. Okay, because asking, um, I mean, asking a question. Can you send, you said me, right? Can you send me? You said me, right, just now? Can you send me to this location? Okay, sure, I can send you there. Okay, can you send me to Taman Limau, sir? Okay, pro, two marks or so, provided C, T, L, capital letters, comma, question mark is correct. And this is more polite because the word sir, more polite. Okay, so if let's say there's a mistake, Tama instead of capital T, you write a small T, Limau, capital L, you write a small L, consider punctuation mistake, you are given one mark. Okay. Your handwriting must be nice. Write nicely, clearly. Okay, the last question. Look at the picture. Tell me who's the first speaker, the second speaker, and what is the response most likely will be? The first speaker, your mother too. Mother, second speaker? 
yang children do. The boy, right? The child. The child. Yeah. Okay, the child. Okay, now. Okay, mom, don't worry. What do you think the mother would have said? Um, be safe. Uh -huh. What is it? Be careful, son. Ah, be careful, son. What is it? I, I didn't care, you know. Be careful, son. Ah, wait, yeah. Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful, son. Okay, and then one more response. Goodbye, son, be safe. Good. Bye, son, be safe. Okay, goodbye, son. Please be safe. Another response? Yeah, almost finishing. Almost. Be careful, son. Goodbye, son. Please be safe. One more that you have is. Please take care of yourself. Okay, be careful, son. Also accepted. Goodbye, son. Full stop. Please be safe. Also accepted. Please take care of yourself, Hudson. The name of a boy. Do not give a name of a girl. Ah, you must look at the picture carefully. Okay? Be careful, son. Also to Max. Goodbye, son. Please be safe. Also to Max. Please take care of yourself, son. Hudson. Also correct. Or instead of Hudson, son. Also correct. Okay? So, again, you will lose marks if... Any problem with the capital letters, punctuation, or structure, or grammar. Sometimes totally structure wrong, zero. Okay, so I give you time to copy before I off sharing the slide. Should I copy, madam? Excellent. Okay, stop sharing, yeah? Okay.